Hi! In this video, we'll mount and install the Sunny Tripower 125. When working on the device, make sure to follow the information in the valid operating and safety instructions. The installation must only be carried out in designated areas and permissible positions. The inverter requires at least two people for mounting. In this video, we'll be mounting the inverter onto profile rails to prepare the device for training sessions at the Solar Academy. The inverter arrives on a pallet and upon opening the packaging, several components such as the mounting bracket are embedded in the styrofoam. First, the mounting bracket will be installed. Since we're using a lifting gear to mount the inverter, we'll use the two upper threaded holes to attach the eye bolts. The lifting device is then attached to the eye bolts and the inverter is lifted and hung onto the wall bracket. After that, remove the eye bolts and secure the inverter to the mounting bracket with hex bolts. Before proceeding with the AC connection, ensure that all three DC connect switches and the AC circuit breaker are turned off and secured against being accidentally turned back on. To begin with the electrical connection, open the cable compartment for the AC connection by loosening the two screws and opening the cover. The cover can be secured in the opening position using the limit lever. Now strip the AC cables, then strip the conductors L1, L2, L3, N and PE. To feed the cables into the housing, the cable entry of the ceiling plate must be trimmed to fit. Afterwards, guide the cable into the device. Flip up the protective cover for the connections and slide a heat shrink tube over each conductor to prepare for attaching a ring terminal. Connect the conductors L1, L2, L3 and N in the upper part of the connection area and the PE conductor in the lower part. To do this, screw the conductors onto the threaded studs with one washer and a hex nut each. Make sure the AC cables are not under tension. Now close the protective cover and return the limit lever to its original position. Close the cable compartment again. Next, connect the conductor for external protective grounding. Strip the grounding cable, place it inside heat shrink tubing and fasten it with a washer and bolt. For the DC connection, prepare the DC connectors, making sure they have the correct polarity. Depending on the number of PV modules, connect the DC connectors to the inverter. Unused inputs should be sealed with DC connectors equipped with sealing plugs. To establish communication with the system, first remove the cover from the communications connection area. Then, loosen the lock nut on one of the cable glands, slide the lock nut over the network cable, place the sealing plug around the cable, feed the cable through the cover into the inverter, and connect it to the ETH1 or ETH2 network port. Finally, press the cover of the communications connection area onto the inverter and hand tighten the cable gland. Mm -hmm. 
Now the inverter can be switched on and put into operation. Depending on the system, the settings may vary. Software configuration is necessary to meet the feed-in requirements. Please use the inverter's operating manual for configuration instructions. We hope this video was helpful. If you need any further assistance, check out other tech tips on our channel or comment your questions down below. You want to stay on track with our tech tips on SMA products? Subscribe to our channel and stay up to date.